Hey guys, happy Sunday. Uh, I'm just gonna do this quick video to show you guys something. I've been working on this website uh, for a couple of days for a client. So we are creating this website for the client uh, in a high level website builder. So instead of using WordPress or any other website builder because of a low budget, we are doing this on high level because he's gonna get a subscription anyway. So we are keeping that website in his account. Now, what I noticed is uh, the difference between WordPress or any other, you know, website CMS like uh, Wix or Squarespace or uh, uh, Shopify or uh, like those things. So what I realized is when I ran a quick speed test on this preview domain instead of I, I haven't uh, added the domain on this website yet. It's not a funnel. It's a website. As you can see, it's got a pretty decent amount of page speed. So 86 percent on uh, GT metrics is, is really good, I think, because uh, if I'm doing nothing uh, for like optimization and image uh, compression or, or those stuff and still getting 86%, that's I would say that's a really, really good result for me. So that saves me a lot of time going in and, you know, optimizing the images and the layouts and stuff. This is not a small web page. As you can see, there's, there's a lot of images, like uh, 10 or 12 images on the whole page right so i did it on gt metrics and let's look at the image size so i know that high level already compresses images so as you can see these uh image sizes are really really small comparing to if you upload it on wordpress it would be really big uh and you have to you'd have to use you know smush or other image optimization plugins to compress these or manually compress these yourself right so uh that's one of the benefits, I would say, of uh, using high-level websites. If we look into page speed, now this one, for those of you who know uh, how page speed inside works, page speed is really tricky. So uh, I would say without doing anything, without having to do any uh, optimization tasks, 83 is a really good number, right? And also on mobile, uh, we know that like in mobile, page speed has like a 20 or 25 or 30 score like that, you know, so the thing is we can create websites in high level as long as the style uh, of the website or the design or, or the layout of the website is not that super complicated. Like there's a lot of clients who have budget or who want a bit more modern kind of design for for those clients. WordPress is OK or I know uh, there's there's also Duda or you know Wix. Those are completely okay for ecom. You cannot use Go High Level because for ecom it's gonna be a pain in the ass. And also for blog websites. Now this is really interesting. Go High Level has a blog section. We have not started using this at a professional level. I, I think we need to, but we haven't yet. So for blogs, I would say go with WordPress. But for business websites for clients who have a you know medium to low budget if he has a high budget then go for wordpress with a bespoke design but if the client has you know a medium or a low budget you could definitely give high level websites a try because as i've showed you like the website builder is super super easy to work with you don't have to have any coding experience if you know how to do css or javascript that's cherry on top but without knowing javascript or css or jquery you can create a decent like decent looking website so i haven't used a single line of code in this page and it already looks so good to me so yeah i, I know this video is getting a lot bigger than i expected so this is just one of the observations i had uh, in my mind that i wanted to share with you so yeah take care and uh, i'll see you in the next one